Well, Elon was not in favor of creating cars that aren't high-end, but coming up with the idea of Tesla's EV to be $25,000. Well, nobody wants to miss that deal. Elon came to the G20 summit meeting remotely, and you will not believe it. It was a blackout and Elon was sitting with a candle in the meeting in his new house, which is the Twitter office apparently. Though at all did he updated regarding the new 25,000 Tesla, you need to watch the whole video for that. So let's get in. Elon Musk once appeared uninterested in creating a more reasonably priced Tesla. Part two of his master plan expressed this view when he speculated that the robo-taxi network will eliminate the necessity for a less expensive car following the Model 3. In countries such as the United States and Canada, Musk's assertion could very well be accurate. But in countries such as India, his statement is completely off the mark. After all, there is a reason why inexpensive automobiles and motorcycles dominate the markets in countries such as the Philippines when it comes to automobiles. Even in China, which has the largest auto market in the world and is one of the strongest areas for the Tesla Model Y, there is a sizable population of people who choose to purchase automobiles because they are inexpensive. Musk, on the other hand, has not supplied many views regarding an inexpensive electric vehicle. On the earnings call for the fourth quarter and full year of 2021, Elon Musk stated unequivocally that we're not currently working on a 25,000 automobile, much to the dismay of certain analysts working on Wall Street. In addition to that, he has entertained the idea of developing a specialized robo-taxi with an innovative appearance instead. However, these attitudes seem to shift during the third quarter results call when Musk indicated that a third-generation car, which is expected to be a cheap EV, will exceed the output of all the company's electric vehicles that are currently on the market combined. Consequently, it should not have come as a shock when, during his presence at the B20 meeting in Indonesia in 2022, Musk was questioned about his ideas for a Tesla model that was less expensive. The interviewer made a joke about the possibility of naming the vehicle the Model I, which would stand for either Indonesia or India, two countries in which such a vehicle would most likely be very competitive. Musk emphasized in his response that he could not comment much about Tesla's future products, but he did underline the fact that the firm is fully aware that a cheap EV is the way to go. This was one of the points that Musk made. Yeah, I can't comment too much about the future product development for Tesla, other than to say that we do believe that developing a vehicle that is significantly cheaper would make a lot of sense, he said. And we ought to take some action, Musk remarked. Musk did not provide any information regarding the vehicle's price or specifications. Nevertheless, EV communities have long speculated that the company's inexpensive car will likely be priced somewhere in the area of $25,000. In terms of technical specifications, it would not be unusual if it were to be offered for sale as a singular motor vehicle that was constructed using megacasts and a structural battery pack to reduce the amount of money spent on manufacturing it. The more cost electric vehicle would, on the other hand, very certainly be fitted with the extensive suite of safety measures that the manufacturer offers, which includes airbags in addition to both active and passive safety systems. Elon Musk is famous for a variety of things. In addition to the fact that he owns Twitter and is one of the most active and controversial users of the social media network, Musk is well known for his ability to juggle multiple projects at once. But for the time being, after acquiring Twitter, Musk conceded that he has a little too much on his plate. During the B20 Indonesia 2022 meeting, which is taking place in Bali at the moment, Musk had participated in a virtual interview. Musk was wearing a traditional batik shirt that was supplied to him by the event's organizers, and he spoke openly and honestly about several different themes. Almost immediately, his purchase of Twitter as well as the fact that he's currently running numerous prominent firms came up in conversation. Musk then pointed out that his workload has been steadily increasing as of late. As you're aware, aware the amount of work that I have been doing as of late has significantly grown. To put it another way, I have way too much work on my plate right now. There's no question about it, Musk stated. When the CEO of Tesla was questioned about his thoughts on other company leaders in Asia who desire to become the Elon Musk of the East, he responded by saying that his workload is not suitable for everyone. Be careful about what it is that you wish for. It's hard for me to say how many other individuals out there secretly wish they were me. They have a fantasy of what it would be like to be me, which is not the same as actually being like me. Musk has admitted that the amount of mental anguish it puts himself through is next level. It seems like reasonable advice coming from Musk. 
After all, he's actively engaged in several high-profile endeavors at the moment. Tesla is about to release full self-driving to its fleet while tooling for the Cybertruck at Giga Texas and wrapping Model Y deliveries from four factories. Neuralink is about to hold a show-and-tell event for its brain-machine interface, and the boring company is busy constructing a loop system underneath Las Vegas. During this time, Twitter is in the process of aggressively implementing several significant changes, which comes after the business fired approximately half of its workforce and released several new features. Musk has dropped hints about a high-yield savings option that will be available for artists, and the company has filed the initial paperwork necessary to start an online payments business. During his discussion at the B20 Indonesia 2022, Musk also mentioned that longer video material is likely going to make its way to Twitter shortly. Twitter without a doubt, but I believe there will be a significant increase in the use of video. And it's kind of a no-brainer to enable longer video and also to enable content creators to make a livelihood with the material on Twitter, Musk said. In the wake of a deadly Model Y crash that occurred in Zhaozhou, which is located in the province of Guangdong in southern China, Tesla China has shared its observations. Two people were killed and three others were injured when a Model Y that had been filming accelerating out of control crashed after about two kilometers. The brake lights on the Model Y Tesla appeared to be off during the accident's high-speed drive, as seen in video evidence. However, the driver's relative has told local Chinese media that the brake pedal was inoperative. The driver of a Model Y stated that he or she tried putting the vehicle in park, but that it continued to move forward at full speed regardless. In response to the driver's assertions that the brakes were inoperable, Tesla China has disputed such allegations. The electric vehicle manufacturer claims that data from the crashed Model Y shows the accelerator pedal was depressed for an unusually long time, reaching 100% at one point. The driver did not apply the brakes according to Tesla China. However, the manufacturer of the electric car did notice that the driver pressed the park button four times while driving, causing the brake lights to flash on and off rapidly. It should be noted that Tesla owners' tests have demonstrated that under some conditions, a long press of the park button while a moving Tesla will cause it to come to a stop. On social media, several have questioned Tesla China's findings, claiming that the Model Y's driver has truck driving experience. According to reports, the local traffic police have also dismissed the possibility that the driver was impaired by drugs or alcohol. According to reports, police are looking for a private firm to examine the wreckage of the Model Y, which might yield useful information. Tesla China is committed to actively assisting with the Model Y's evaluation. Vehicles manufactured by Tesla China have been accused of breaking system failures before. In 2017, Tesla made headlines across the world when a protester at the Shanghai Auto Show climbed onto one of the company's exhibits to imply that Tesla's electric vehicles had brake failure problems. When Tesla China's legal team became involved, Beta cites that they the story claiming the company's vehicles were unsafe and social media users who propagated the rumors about Tesla's supposed brake failure occurrences all issued public apologies for spreading false information. And that's all for the video today. We will be right back with more updated information. Until then, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.